Hello everyone, welcome to the Web3 Education and Investment. And today, let's talk about the new tweet from Pioneer Finance uh, founder. And so that's a new tweet today he just posted. Uh, he said, has anyone noticed this new feature yet? Pioneer Finance takes Crowdnon Dot to the next level. Uh, I would like to share my understanding and uh, also I would like to share what kind of uh, things you need to be aware of. And so there is a picture here shows there's a diamond and now let's, uh, let's take a look at that. So there is a diamond. Let's just uh, go to the, uh, the money market. And so once you go there, uh, you need to log in and you will see your position. And so I do have some C dot and uh, uh, here on the platform. And so if you move your mouse there, you are going to see that this is a new feature. I believe that's a new feature you both mentioned. Uh, C dot, you can use that as collateral to borrow the dot. And uh, there will be a few important things uh, um, you need to be aware of. First, first of all, it's one of them you can um, you can use and uh, borrow the dot. Second, it says with without any risk of liquidation. So if you call, if you click that, you are going to see the description here. So what is liquidation free known? So uh, I will just uh, quickly go over my understanding. So the liquidation free, that means uh, your position would be safe. It will not have the liquidation, so they will not, they will not, uh, uh actually, uh, sell your, your collateral or something like that, and so you don't have that risk. But how can that happen, right? Some of you may have the question here. So, how that happened? Like why, why it says that that's a liquidation free, uh, and what happened if the dollar price? decreases for example if it drops to five dollar from five dollar to one dollar maybe um what happened and also um some of you may ask w w did that matter if the c dot and the dot their ratio like the conversion ratio changed or not uh will that matter um so now let's uh try to understand this problem together so i will help you uh, I will show you what happened. So, so first of all, here if you click that, you can actually land your C dot, and this uh, landing you don't have APY, so you are not going to earn any more C dot. Uh, you probably have a little bit of parallel rewards. So I'm going to show you. Let me just land another ten of them. So one thing you notice here, there's a liquidation free limit. It increased. So um, this limit is a limit like it's a, a liquidation free. And so you can use this limit to now borrow the dot. Um, so I will, I will show you that. So if I just uh, land that, right, I'm going to have $30. So this dollar is uh, calculated by the current value. So the current value of your C dot. So that va that value could be changed if the C dot is more expensive tomorrow, but it doesn't matter because uh, you are going to use that as connectro anyhow. And, uh, and uh, you are not going to use all of them. So if, if your liquidation free limit is, okay, we will just show you here, is $30. The amount of C dot you put at is actually like sixty dollar, I think, something like that. Um, so you get this this uh, limit. Now you can use this limit to borrow the dot. So when you borrow the dot, it will have two limit. The first one is a liquidation free. So this one you will not worry about the liquidation at all because uh, you use C dot as connector. Uh, and the other one is a borrow limit. This one you need to consider. Um, actually, the risk is, is kind of uh, not very high, but but you need to consider because uh, you need to pay for the interest and everything, right? And so the liquidation free limit here, uh, when you borrow, if I borrow one dot, it's going to use this one first. So it's not going to use a borrow limit. If I put 10, 
this will be zero, and then start to use the limit from uh, uh, the normal borrow limit. Okay, and so that's the thing like uh, how you can use the liquidation free limit. And so when you borrow that, obviously you can do the staking and uh, earn some additional rewards. Um, there is one thing like you should be careful. So here we just put it here. So there will be uh, a few things you should be careful. So um, the first of all is uh, uh, your lending your C dot actually didn't give you the APY. So it's zero percent right now. Um, so that's the first thing. Um, and the second thing is uh, a little bit like potential issue. So as you can see here, when I borrow the dot, it will first use a liquidation free limit. So that means it's going to use your C dot collateral. So if I use all of them, let's just uh, put five, it's going to use all of them. So when you borrow that, it's okay. But when you pay that, when you try to repay, repay when you try to repay that, right? So if I borrow a little bit dot, when you repay, um, there will be like uh, the 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 uh, two limit as well. And so if I already borrow five of them, this liquidation free limit will be zero. So that means here would be zero. And then when I repay that, um, if I want to repay like uh, uh, five dots, so here I borrow five dots, right? If I repay five dots, these five dots will just uh, update the borrow limit. It will not update the liquidation free limit. Um, so this would be a kind of a potential issue. Uh, maybe the team will fix that in the future. So the potential issue is uh, when you uh, repay, you didn't repay the liquidation free limit, you don't update that. So if you want to withdraw your C dot, let's say, if you want to withdraw your C dot, since your liquidation free limit, if I already use all of them, is zero. So they will not allow you to do that because uh, you already use your C dot as connector, uh, and uh, and then you borrow some dot. Uh, even though you repay that, you didn't repay the one for the C dot non. You just repay the overall. So so you have to repay like uh, all of your non before you are going to repay the this one for the C dot. And so so the, this could be a potential issue. It's not really a big problem, but um, but, but if you just want to withdraw your C dot and uh, you, uh, let's say like you, you already stake all of your dot, so you don't want to repay the dot right now, you, you, are, you only want to repay a little bit dot, um, that could be the issue. Um, so I just want you to be aware of the potential issue. Um, there, will, there will be no like liquidation issue if you use a C dot and borrow the dot. Um, because ultimately you are going to pay back the same amount of dot. So if I if I use the liquidation like here, um, the liquidation free limit thirty dollar. If I borrow like five dot, um, in the future I just need to get five dot and repay that. It doesn't matter the price of the dot drops from five dollar to one dollar. It doesn't matter because uh, ultimately it's based on the dot. So you only need to worry about like the the dot you have. So if you still have five dots, you should be fine. You can just pay it back. Um, so that that's a that's a that's a, like uh, the thing I would like to mention. Act and actually, uh, another potential issue. It's not a potential issue. Is is like if you borrow, uh, if you use that right and borrow the dot, uh, if you borrow the dot at five dollar and in the future the dot increase to fifty. Uh, you may still have the issue because if you use that dot, you have to. You have to get the same amount of dot, <laughs> so so uh, you should be aware of this potential problem. It's actually a good problem, but um, but uh, not good for those of you if you borrow that and uh, sell it, for example, and uh, and then later on when you come back, you have to repay that, right? So you have to repay and uh, the same amount of dot. Um, but if you borrow that for staking, I think that's that's okay. You are going to earn some actual rewards, and uh, um, and I actually I made one video before. So if you 
uh, use the uh, the leverage like borrow more. Um, you can gain, you can get much more like uh, APY, much higher than the APY. You can see it here because uh, you use the connector and you you borrow more dot and then you stake those dot and earn more rewards, right? So I do have a lot of C dot and I can use them as connector. So you can just go to your the land position and then if you click this button, this will be used as connector and then you can you can do whatever you want. Um, you can borrow the dot. You can also know your health factor. So here is a health factor. Okay, so that's all about today's video. Thanks for watching. Although I talk about the uh the the new things, right? The 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 new like uh, um tweets from the founder, and uh, also I go through the liquidation free now and. Uh, uh, the potential things you need to be aware of. Bye.